What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here, here with you uh, for part number three of BT15 Infinite Rebirth uh, card review week number three. So uh, let's just finish off whatever we have. This is some of the stuff that this is all the stuff that I did not finish in the last part. This is all unconfirmed, like um, like the serial number, like the number hasn't been confirmed, but the effect has been confirmed. So anyways, let's keep on going. So we have a Silver Thorn Beast Tamer Emil. Uh, or any, I don't know. It sounds more like a guy's name. You put Emily, it makes more sense. But anyways, uh, four runner most likely, five k grade zero. So four runner, put this into your soul. Look at the top up to five cards uh, from the top of your deck. Search for up to one grade one, grade two, and grade three with cards. So it's your name. Put them into your soul and shuffle your deck. This is actually really powerful. Actually, yeah, they're really powerful considering the fact that the you get a grade one and a grade two and a grade three so you get to soul charge technically three at best but most likely you'll be able to get at least two or at least one so it's at least goes off for one for one and you get to fuel your soul with the cards right off the bat so then you don't have to wait for you to hit or anything so it's really early soul charging which a lot which is great for Ka Moon. and it's really good in general because you get to then have at least the grades that you need to make uh, your uh, Laqueer play go off like your Empress or whatever the new one because then you have at least the three the two and the one which gives you six so then you at least have it right there so now moving on let me just close that one uh, Brunt Revenger Shadow Lancer so this is another Revenger card a new one 7k grade one and it's a choose a grade three Shadow Paladin from your hand and discard it when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle Vanguard Circle you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one card named Illusiony Revenger Mordred Phantom, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So this card's really good in the way that you get to search for your break ride, which is awesome, and you'll see later on why it specifically says Illusionary Mordred Phantom, but I'm assuming that all of you guys can probably guess why, but anyways, this card's just really good in general, I quite enjoy it, I feel as though that it might be a, you, I might play it in the deck, but I'm not sure yet, because I don't know, it's like if you have a bunch of grade threes already, and actually it's pretty good considering the fact that you get break right, so I think I'd probably play it. Um, moving on, Eloquence Revenger uh, Gron, or Eloquence Revenger Gron, so it's the grade one 4k. 4k is really odd to me because I haven't seen that before, but anyway, Soul Blast one put when this used boot. Boost a unit with Phantom in its card name. You may pay the cost if you do. The boosted unit gets plus 6,000 until end of battle. So it's a, perso a Persona Blaster kind of person. Like a special Persona Blaster. Um, it's alright, but the fact that it's 6k instead of 7k and then boost to three, boost by 3 uh, lessens its uh, uh, greatness because of the fact that if you're don't have, if you not putting in the back row, then you'll just have it as a 4k booster or beater, which is really low, and I don't feel... That it'd be very viable because there's other ones that are better than that, I think. And either that you could just play better grade 7k boosters and they're fine. So then you also have, by the way, these are only the cards that have images because there are some that have the abilities, but they do not have images, so I'm only putting the image ones. So this is Crisis Revenger Mana. Uh, yes, guys, it's a it's a female. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's a female. Yeah. Okay. Shadow Paladin. Yeah. Grade two, 8k. Uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle or Rearguard Circle, if you have a Shadow Pile in Vanguard, search your deck for up to one grade one or less. A card with Vengeance card name, call it to Rearguard Circle in the same column as this unit. Shuffle your deck at the end of the that turn, put that unit on the bottom of your deck. So this is like um, a Maka, except the fact that, that you don't have to um, counterblast two or anything, which is really good, and it helps out with the fact that you can call your call on grade one, so you get that uh, boost for the other guy, the 12k attacker, for that one turn. But the only downside is that you have to send it to the bottom, which probably infers that you probably want to do something, whereas you either do that because you want to call a grade 1 the next turn for another 12, 3k boost for your other guy, or you use uh, something like maybe uh, Raging Form Dragon if you were to play a variant with this card in it that allows you to retire it so then you don't you maintain that plus. I don't know. It's a free it's a free card in your hand and you get to keep a card in your hand and everything. Pretty good. So anyways, uh I don't know if I'd play this card. I might, but maybe because it's a Revenger searcher, but I feel that Tartu is more stable because 
the card will stay there. So if you want to do a setup for a Blaster Dark Dormant play, it's a lot more viable that way because then you can intercept with your Tartu and then keep that Dormant in the back, whereas this one you only get one shot to blow, like one shot to get it all. So anyways, let's move on. Next one, uh, this is the card I was talking about. This is Mordred Phantom. Well, actually, this is one of the most hyped about cards that was before the effect was released, and it's the Mordred Phantom Cross Ride. So it is Revenger Dragular, Drag, drag Ruler Phantom. So Dragon Rulers, uh, Yukio, what? So it's a Drag Ruler Phantom, yep. Um, so limit break four, counter boss one, choose two of your regards with a vendor in card's name and retire them. So that helps out with the fact that the mana thing. This unit gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn, and if your opponent has four or less damage, choose one of your opponent's Vanguard and deal one damage to it. Damage check is performed. If you have Mordred Phantom, you get plus 2,000 power in Lord Effect. So, um, in all, I don't see this card as being amazing in the fact that its limit break is really only viable. Um, like, the pot, like its unique part about the effect uh, is only viable uh, where is it when your opponent has less da has four or less damage so it's not a game finisher where it's like they have five oh okay they have five now I get to limit break kill you so it's not that great and considering the co the high cost that you have to pay I would ra much rather uh, go for the raging form dragon approach with this even though that this guy continuously gets 10k it's just probably going to get Quintet Walled or uh, Perfect Guarded. So I feel that Raging Form applies more pressure and a lot at least gives makes your opponent waste more card advantage because it can stand and everything and they're always under suspicion that maybe you have it. So I, in my personal opinion, I don't find this card to be too amazing. And usually if they're, already, if they're only at 3 damage, there's a reason why you specifically either left them there because you don't want them to limit break early. So yeah, it's a thing as well. So now we have Blue Storm Water General Ly Lysandros. Lysander. <laughs> okay. Counterblast the one card with Blue Storm. Oh, it's a 10k grade 3. Interesting. Uh, Counterblast one card with Blue Storm in its card name at the end of the battle phase that this unit attacked a Vanguard. If you have a grade 3 or greater Va Aqua Force Vanguard in its first, and it is the first or second battle during that turn, you may pay the cost if you do stand this unit. This ability cannot be used for the rest of the turn. Actually, this card's pretty good. I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't mind the, this playing this. Like, this card is actually really good for Aqua Force, considering the fact that it gets a sand and everything. The only downside, I would say, is because you have to counter blast, and the fact that it's only 10k base. So, I know Diamantes is only 9k base, but when it attacks, it's a, it becomes 11 if it's the first attack, so it can at least hit the 11k base Vanguards, and then it switches automatically with the back row. But then again, you could say that this card has the potential to have a booster behind it. And then attack like that with a boost and also with the trigger if you get it. But then again, it's personal preference. I feel that maybe Diamantes would be a more viable choice just in the fact that actually this has Diamantes has to attack the Vanguard. This can attack anything. So if for more versatility, maybe play this card. But if you want to ensure that you hit the Vanguard, maybe go with Diamantes. That's my opinion. But in the long run, I think Diamantes would survive longer because you would run out of counter boss because Blue Storms do use a lot because of their uh, reverse card and all that type of stuff. Now moving on, we have Starvader Freeze Ray Dragon. It's a grade 3. It looks like a chibi. It honestly, I honestly thought it was a grade 1 or grade 0. Uh, 10k, this is kind of weird. 10k Vanguards, what's happening? Uh, it's actually pretty cool looking though. I don't know, in my opinion. So it's Limit Break 4. When your opponent's rigor is locked and due to an effect from one of your cards, this unit gets plus 3,000 power until end of turn. Auto Vanguard. When a card is put into your damage zone, choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards and lock it. What? When a card is put into your damage zone. That's interesting. This is card... This bottom effect is very neat. So whenever you take damage, you're, you're locking, essentially locking for your, your opponent. So you could lock by protect... By doing that, you could protect yourself because you could lock out the next attack. Attacker, which is actually really handy, and on top of that, but the limit break effect isn't amazing. Like, if it had a better limit break effect, then it'd be really viable, and if it had 11k base, but so far, this effect, this, like, part of the effect is actually pretty awesome. So it's possible to run it, but I don't see it being run in a lot, because of the fact that you have infinite zero dragon and Omega Gladios and Chaos Breaker, but it's still a possibility. Pretty good card. And then, 
just to te- like to give you a little guys a sneak peek of what I'm really looking forward to. Dragonic Overlord the Rebirth, yeah. Like Kai's Ace card. Like honestly, this do you not like? Look at these sleeves. These are so nice. I'm most likely gonna get these sleeves when they come out. And if anybody else is interested in getting them or any of the new guys like the Dragon Ruler, I'm probably gonna get him as well for Revengers. PM me or message me because I will be getting these and I will be selling them. And if you guys want them, yeah, get PM me because I will get a bunch of these and I love this cut, this design. I can't wait to see its effect because as you can see, it's not been released yet. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed all these. Um, I will probably be coming back to you guys with another one in a few weeks or a week's time to stay up to date with this so I don't have to attack you guys with three videos of one big set. So anyways, guys, it's been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Comment, like, subscribe, favorite. Uh, it really helps me out. There's no lie, there's no lie behind that. Um, yeah, so anyways, guys, it's been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Signing off. Bye.